Hey guys, what's up? Beastly World 100 here is here. Also known as Beastly 100. Also known as Beastly World. Also known as Nathan, but you call me whatever you want because you only do it anyway. <sighs> Sorry, taking a minute to breathe. God, it's cold in here. But, um, I'm back with another one, guys. And today, I'll be talking about the CW. God, do I hate the CW. And I know you probably heard that about a lot of things I've been talking about lately. I don't particularly care if you're annoyed by it. The world needs to quit giving me reasons to complain, and I'll quit complaining. The freaking CW, man. Oh, God, I hate the CW. I mean, CW, back when it was like CW4, had some pretty decent shit on it, like Smallville. A few other things that I don't fully remember what they were, but, you know, pretty good shit, though. Not what they're putting out now, which is just over-derided, forced, you know, especially politically correct garbage. Like, fucking, like, Eric, God, I hate the Arrowverse. The Flash is the only decent show on there. Now, I'm not, I'm not completely proud to say that I've watched the other shows before, like Legends of Tomorrow. I keep, like, because they do have some problems and shit in them, but Flash is the only one that seems like a real hero. And not just, like, fucking Green Arrow trying to be fucking Batman. God, I hate Arrow. I've always hated Arrow. Fucking, that or fucking Supergirl. You, you, Supergirl, more like Social Justice Girl. They ruined Supergirl's character. And that dumbass joke they made in one of the episodes, like that episode where fucking Barry, uh, Barry Allen Flash comes to the fucking, uh, uh, Supergirl universe. They think this is funny. This is not funny. This ain't uh, self-referential. This is just desperate pandering. This is what it is. You're just hoping people fucking... Why are you all standing there like the racially diverse cast of a CW show? Fuck off. Cut it. Cut that shit out. Man, fucking really. But seriously? That, like, that again... Again, they think it's self-referential. No, it's not. It's fucking desperate. And it's not a joke. It's pandering. You're hoping all these fucking dumbass, please correct, roll clip... Woke little bitch ass fucking kids appreciate that shit. And they don't. They really fucking don't. Like when that dumb ass thing on the flash, I mentioned this before. Sorry, I thought I heard someone call my name. Uh sorry, sorry, I thought I heard someone call my name, but you know, there was that dumb ass, uh there was that dumb little bitch. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's a cool person in real life, but the character she was playing actually said the words out loud, hashtag feminism. Again, desperate fucking pandering much? And that's pretty much what the CW is. It's just they take DC characters and they pretty much slap them together with politically correct, like, woke, meta-ass humor bullshit. That's what it is. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. The action scenes are cool for what it, for what it's worth. But they do such a piss-poor job with the characters themselves and basically make everyone out to be a whiny little bitch. Except for, say, Barry Allen. Barry, Barry catches so much hell for no reason. Like, I'm serious, like, he tries so, and he takes it all in stride, but honestly, Barry doesn't really do a whole lot wrong, and if he does, it's not like anybody else would have done the same thing, especially with that whole Flashpoint shit, where it's like, fucking Adam and White Canary, god, I fucking hate White Canary, I like her actress, but the White Canary was only made for the Arrowverse, and she was purely feminism, White Canary's garbage, her character is complete garbage, there's no getting around it, Katie Lotz, the girl who plays her, awesome, character though, garbage, and so is her fucking girlfriend, I mean, both of them are a bunch of fucking twats. They're rude, they're condescending, they're short, and they're disrespectful to fucking everybody to match up with their fucking standards. It's ridiculous. And, you know, um, and another thing is that, that something that really pisses me off about, like I said, about uh, characters like that, like I said, with Barry Kitchen, all the hell, and like I said, Adam and White Canary saying they wouldn't, giving them hell. Again, you act like you wouldn't have done the same thing. I love how everybody jumps on their fucking high hole. This DC's bad for that shit, especially nowadays. Dude, looking at you, Young Justice Season 3, you were garbage and you know it. It's all forced political messages and everyone jumping on their fucking high horse these days. Of course, no, I wouldn't have done that in that situation. No, fuck you. You're such a horrible person. I wouldn't have done the same thing. I act like I'm any fucking better as a person. I won't try to be understanding or understand that someone's not perfect and they had the best interest at heart. Their heart was in the right place. But no, fuck you. You're, you're a god-awful person because the plot demands it. And we have to force you to redeem yourself, but it will never let this go. Whenever you try to hold something over our heads, you're an asshole and we can't talk to you anymore because I'm a whiny little bitch and a character destroyed by DC hoping to bring in a younger audience that doesn't give a fuck about these characters. Maybe because they're fucking assholes and there are kids out there who want better role models, better shit than what they're given today. And you know they're out there. Some have given up all hope and just go with it now because it feels like they're never going to uh, do anything about it. One day when they start losing so much money they damn near end up broke, they're going to have to go back to the way they used to do it where everyone wasn't such a whiny little bitch. And I thank God that that day will come soon. I know that day will come soon because they're going to learn their lesson one way or another. Because, you know, God knows they ain't going to let themselves go bankrupt. The, no, that's just never going to happen. Even if they gotta go back to pandering to the right people in this case. The fans who did right by them in the first place. You know, and again, the whole thing with CW and DC. All they do is, they take a character, make them a little bit edgy. And by edgy, they mean, again, a whiny little bitch. And make them attack everybody for every little mistake they make. Someone's always gotta have some heartfelt, not even heartfelt backstory. Just some slightly just bullshitted, heart-wrenching backstory. And a reason to basically excuse them to be an asshole. 
Now, as a heavily traumatized person myself, I'm not like a Vietnam War veteran or anything, but I'm still pretty heavily fucking traumatized. So we're a lot of people I know and love and grew up with. We grew up in a rough place. Not like, not like we lived in the ghetto, and yeah, for my early childhood we were living in the ghetto, but like, we're, we weren't like living in the ghetto and we constantly had to fight our whole lives. No, no, no. We lived a pretty good life, but there were still a lot of traumatizing moments given some of the darker things we had to fa face in life, especially with family. You know, me and my siblings had to come together as if, you know, to come together to kind of help each other and raise each other, especially after mom disappeared for like three years. Long story, I got back into that, but that wasn't her fault. I won't get into that because I don't want to hear it in the comment section or even outside this video, depending on who's watching it. Not naming any names. People I know is what I mean. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing is like, you know, like if someone's traumatized, they face a traumatic experience, I can understand why they act the way that they act, but that's not what they do. They just make them fucking assholes and try to excuse it. Not just assholes. Schneid, rude, condescending, fucking self-righteous pricks. That's what they make them out into. And again, the whole white canary thing, that's purely just a girl power bullshit movement. That's all it is. They don't try to give him any depth as character. They just pretty much attack the other male characters and call them all fucking stupid and try to give these moments where they look stronger as females and the guys look dumber. But it, no, I just hate that female character even more. Not because they're female. Don't cry sexism, you dumb little fucking bitch. Quit fucking crying about everybody not liking this because of that because, you know, you want to pull a fucking uh, victim card out on everybody. Bitch, that hand is not going to win you anything. You're going to lose every time. You have the unfortunate hand here. And, you know, again, and it's always, the characters who are such nice people still try to be a hero, like Barry. He's lost so much and he still goes out of his way for other people. I mean, I haven't lost a whole lot, but I have been know what it's like to keep getting screwed left and right. And, you know, it's not really, like, by other people, but rather just by circumstances out of your control. And it gets to a point where it just gets old after a while. You know, he gave up saving his mom, you know, to make sure everything turned out right. The way it was supposed to. He gave that up. And what happens? Everyone still treats him like he's lesser, and it's fucking ridiculous. And then you got fucking, like, Hartley Sore getting kicked off there because of some tweets he made. <laughs> this person picked me off, and you kicked him off. I don't want him on here anymore. Pretty much, that's what TV, it's kind of like what TV networks are acting like now. If someone is slightly hurt, it's like that spoiled little bitch that one parent always spoils and pretty much favors, even though they deny it. That basically, you know, like, oh, you're grounded and you have all your privilege taken away. Probably going to send you away and give you up for adoption because someone didn't like you. And wonder why those parents basically lose everything in the process of child abuse allegations and pretty much end up getting screwed anyway. Which is basically what's going to happen here. It's going to get to the point where they're going to fire so many people that people like. The show's going to drop in ratings or someone's going to be like, you know what, fuck this, I'm done. They're going to leave because, especially the actors are going to leave because they're getting tired of basically being fucking... Now we got to go out by a certain set of fucking guidelines that basically make us into not even goody two-shoes. We're basically somebody's bitch at this point. So pretty much they either walk away from the industry or they walk away from the show entirely and people stop watching because, again, and not just because all the like, people getting kicked off thing but also because of the fact that you know their favorite actor left i'm getting off subject here but i'll save that for another video but you get the fucking point though and again social justice bitch also known as supergirl in this case fucking you know i understand trying to give like some of the more side not really side characters characters aren't as popular as like say batman superman or wonder woman you know the flash is pretty popular but still i like seeing a show but for what it's worth but like you know what i'm saying i understand giving them kind of time in the limelight i get it i get it i get it i get it and the other reason I really haven't done Green Lantern is because how expensive that would be, you know. That'd be extremely expensive. And, you know, TV shows don't really have that kind of budget. I get that. But, fucking, it's gotten to the fucking point where it's like... They don't do that whole, like, hey, give the, le give the little guys, you know, some, a spotlight. No. Basically make the little guys, like, except for the Flash, assholes. Basically just slap, force together fucking, uh, uh bull... Not even bullshit, I don't know what to call it. Because like I said, that's not the Green Arrow. That is not the Green... The Green Arrow is a wisecracking, um, wisecracking, um... Uh, that wisecracking, smiley as some bitch. Like, he's a fucking... Like, elbow and arrow superheroes. They're wisecrackers. They're supposed to be. It's part of their charm. It's like a Robin Hood thing. We're kind of relays... That's kind of where that comes from. It's like, originally his outfit made him look like Robin Hood, believe it or not. Before he got the hood and shit. And fucking, you know, Green Arrow, that's what he was supposed to be. They made him into fucking Christian Bale's Batman. I hate the Christian Bale Batman. Well, it's Christopher Nolan's Batman in this case. He directed it, but... I don't like the Christopher Nolan Batman. The Dark Knight trilogy was complete garbage and pretty much just gave the middle finger to Batman. That's all it was. It was com it was trash. You know it was fucking trash. You liked it. Face it, it was garbage. I don't care if you I don't care if you liked it. Awesome, I don't care. But again, whether you liked it or not, it was garbage. You know it was garbage. Don't try to fucking blindly defend the fucking comment section. It was garbage. All of it was garbage, especially the last one. And uh Sorry about these pauses. I'm trying to breathe, but that you know, again, that's pretty much all they did. They just pretty much slapped the fucking um, Batman. They pretty much spent slapped the fucking Christopher Nolan Batman um, uh, 
whatever the fuck it's called, whatever word I'm looking for, basically on the Green Arrow. That's not the Green Arrow. That was trash. And then they fucking, you know, again, everyone jumping on their fucking high horse, losing their respect for a certain character. And the Felicity thing is stupid. I like it when he, like, I miss his old romance where he was with the fucking uh, Black Canary. And of course, they they think because they change your fucking name that's going to make it all better and the fans are not going to care. No, you change that because the dumbass fans that you didn't make, that, you know, the dumbass fans that you made it for, not the real fans. I prefer the Green Arrow, Black Canary relationship. Why? Because that one was always awesome. It's like Spider-Man and Mary Jane. It was fucking awesome. I love it. I know that's Marvel. I don't care, though. You know, and whatever happened to Elongated Man, you know, like, what I didn't like how they made Ralph Dibney kind of an asshole. I mean, and they really forced that. That was another thing. How for, where they forcibly make a character an asshole. I know that's supposed to be part of their character. It's supposed to change themselves. No, that got old real, real, real fast. But it didn't really sound like he was a bad kid. It was just sounded like the writers were just hoping you would hate him and hoping he would change. And TV has a bad reputation for that. But no, I don't hate the character any more than you're trying to make me. And then you gotta make Iris West a little bitch in season four. And, like, Iris West, I was not happy with the whole race swap thing, despite the fact that I don't mind Candace Patton in a way. Candace Patton's pretty cool as an actress. And I love Joe West, like, the guy who plays him, uh, I don't remember his name, but Joe West is, like, a badass character. And if it turns out, like, his kids were adopted, like, Wally and fucking, uh, Iris were both, like, white and redheads, you know? Like, you know, like, you know, ginger, gingers like they were in the original comic books. I would, and I would love to see that too, even if, you know, Joe was black, but still, like, because originally his name was Ira, but, uh, the character's name, but, like, Joe is cool, I love Joe, because he's a fatherly figure, but doesn't constantly eat Barry alive, even when he makes mistakes, he doesn't constantly eat Barry alive, he understands that Barry's doing all, the one thing one man can do, and that's why I have a lot of respect for Joe, because he's not a fucking asshole. And, you know, like, fucking, you know, like I said, Iris is a, uh, you know, how they ruined season four with her, because they basically just made her an overly bossy bitch and made her, why is she conveniently the leader? What does she do for anyone? I mean, yeah, I know she serves a purpose, but why is she conveniently the leader? What the fuck happened there? Barry's supposed to be the fucking leader. And, uh, again, you know, then we got fucking, how they fucking do the whole force, like, you know, Wally's black now, which, again, I have no problem with black people, that's not the problem. The fact that they forcibly race swapped it, and it kept ignoring the fans who told, told everybody, we don't want this. Black and white fans alike, like, even fans that weren't black and white, Mexican, Asian, like, even they were complaining about it, but the DC fucking ignored them, because DC are run by fucking assholes. And again, you know, you got fucking the whole mastermind behind the Arrowverse, the idiot who made the, this mess the whole, what it is, Fucking Greg Berlanti, motherfucker, you weren't trying to take, they say, well, we got to take our own, st make our own story with it, no, you didn't, you want to capitalize what was fucking popular at the time, motherfucker, because it was, like, right on the heels, or, like, right after fucking Dark Knight Rises came out, no, motherfucker, you knew what you were doing, shut the fuck up, desperate, pandering little bitch, not to bounce around different things here, but it all just kind of bounces into the same thing, bottom line is that the Arrowverse is garbage, and I know there are other shows on CW, like, Charmed, and that's the problem with fucking Charm, that whole race swap, because the original series is cool, and, you know, I know a lot of them were white, but again, I don't know if that was really the point of, like, the race here. They were just throwing in, uh, uh, quirky characters, you know, and again, I don't think they were really focused on race, rather just trying to get the show out while they could, but also, you know, put out good characters, but race does not define someone as a good character. And the fact that they, for why are they all black, though? Why not any, how about we all work the, how about instead of just, you know, forcibly making characters another race, like they're already white, how about this? White, black, Asian, Mexican, just all kinds of different races. Not just the one race and then calling it racism when you call it stupid. You call it diverse, yet you're just doing the same thing. All you did was color swap that shit. That's all you did. Like, I don't see any other colors. That's what's another thing that they... You cry about the first one being racist. You're doing the exact same thing in a different way. That's all you're doing. You know? That's all you're doing. That's all char the new charm is. It's just a bad uh, fucking social... Uh, not social. Just the equality move, but it's like, really? Like, what the fuck, like, why is there only, like, it originally was all white, but now it's all black, why can't there be other races involved here, why is it just the one race, what the fuck do you think, you're, you're not, you're not doing any better, it's like just flipping around a fucking chessboard, it's all you did, nothing really changed, call that racist, I don't care, it's not, it's, be, it's pretty much the, what I just fucking said, like, all you did was just switch around colors here, you didn't add anything new, you're being ridiculous. You know, and then you got fucking, like, the one show that was decent in the Arrowverse outside of The Flash was Constantine. It could have done a lot better, but Constantine, and of course it got canceled. Why? Because it didn't suck. I know it was a uh, broadcast on NBC, but it was part of the Arrowverse. But of course it didn't suck, so of course they gave it the boot. Why wouldn't they? It was a pretty a damn good series, but of course they fucked, they went and gave it the middle finger, because again, it wasn't basically being all politically correct bullshit. That's all it was. Only reason they gave it the boot. And I can get behind a show kind of like fucking, you know, Legends of Tomorrow, where it's about, like, you know, the underused, under, you know, 
like uh, undermined, you know, characters that are kind of like, that didn't really serve as much of a purpose in most episodes, but like other shows, like, again, it's kind of given again the even littler guys some spotlight, and I think that's so cool they formed them into a team. But it really got stupid when they basically, like, Rip Hunter basically got his ship taken away from by Captain Lance, and basically they're like, no, I'm captain now. Instead of giving him back what his rightfully his, nope, fuck you. No, no, like, it's, it's fucking mine now, because I'm the fucking girl power late. I'm girl, I'm pretty much that's what White Canary is. I'm girl power. I'm, I'm Captain Girl Power. That's all, that's all it is. You know? And then they want to fucking, um, like I said, they do that, and they pretty much just treat, uh, uh, fucking, uh, Captain, uh, I think it's Captain Rip. I think his name is Rip. But, uh, th- th- you know what I'm saying? They fucking treat him now like he's a lesser character and like he wasn't there at the beginning. It's ridiculous. Like, at the beginning of the show itself. And the way they fucked up Vandal Savage honestly just pisses me off. Because Vandal Savage was like a caveman. He got radiated by a meteorite and he got turned into this undying, like, you know, genius. And he's been little Julius Caesar, Genghis Khan. He's been all this crazy shit. He's been a scientist, a laborer, a thief. All this crazy... And now, that is a backstory that kicks fucking ass. I didn't mind the guy playing him. The guy playing him was pretty cool, but the fact that they pl- completely retconned his fucking backstory and made it this dumbass, like it was a triangle of love and he was being rejected and blah. Not even triangle of love. He was just rejected, blah, 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 blah. That's retarded. That was massively fucking stupid. Because again, that backstory is reta- just dumb. It's been overused. It was never even a good backstory. His original backstory was cool, but I know that someone's going to say, well, it won't appeal much to the, to the younger fans. And uh, I don't give a fuck what appeals to anybody. Not everything's going to appeal to everyone. And honestly, how cool would that have been to see that on TV? His fucking original backstory. I'm sure a lot of kids would have fucking loved it. Because that's fucking cool. Regardless of who you are. That was just somebody's desperate fucking attempt to sell some cheap ass, stupid fucking, um, um, che- like cheap, you know, tension, like tri- lo- triangle of love story. That's all the fuck you were trying. Love triangles are stupid anyway. It's fucking ridiculous, man. But, you know, that's another thing is the fucking, you know, the whole situation with that. Like I said, that was just a bad t- attempt trying to sell some cheap, stupid, uh, triangle of love story. And I didn't like how they rewrote the stuff, the fucking, I don't really mind the whole Egyptian mythology thing, like Hawk Girl and, Haw- and Hawkman or whatever, like, but I still think it's stupid when they did it, because again, they were from an alien world, they're Thanagarians, that's the whole point, but again, they fucking ruined that. And I don't mind Vi- Cisco Ramon, his, vi- his version of Vibe, I kind of miss the original version where he was like dancer and he all, and he did that, he was, again, he was a break dancer, and he did all the shit, uh, Vibe did, uh, like, you know, what Cisco did, but... I understand they couldn't do that, really do that in show, because hiring a professional dancer like that could get expensive, but still. And the way they fucking changed, like, villains, like, they did Top. Top didn't make things all bounce around and move and da-da-da. That's not what Top did. And again, well, you kids, this day and age, just wouldn't appeal. That's all it was. It's a bad attempt to appeal to the kids, because Cop, uh, Cop, Top, what he did, it was a he, by the way. He never had a romance of fucking Mirror Master. That was stupid. Now, Mirror Master's powers, they got right. He could travel through mirrors, he could do all that crazy shit, but... Top was like a crazy kind of like 1930s, 40s slapstick kind of bad guy where he had like exploding tops and his tops did other weird shit. Because again, he's top. He's like a spinning top, you know? That was the entire point. Which again, kind of like, you probably wouldn't hold up with kids today because they want all this dumb realism that just, just, you don't want fucking realism. You kids are fucking assholes. That'd be fucking cool though, the fact that they ever did that. Because it's kind of out there. But hey, if Captain, not Captain, but fucking Polka Dot Man uh, uh, is on a new fucking Suicide Squad movie... Who's to say we can't get fucking top? It's no fucking different. It's fucking awesome. But, uh, you know, and then we got fucking, you know, and then when they change something like fucking, uh, no, no, wait, wait, when they fucking introduce someone like Batwoman. I don't mind Batwoman. Not the one they showed. I don't like the Kathy Kane, whatever the fuck her name is, Katie Kane or whatever, the fucking redhead bitch. She's, a, she's rude. She's, she's arrogant. She's condescending. She's an asshole. That's not the very first iteration of Batwoman. Now, I'm not fam- fully familiar with the first iteration, but the one I remember was from a fucking, like, graphic novel my brother brought home from the library one day. I was kind of used to that. They would do this. It was like a Batwoman who was like a full-fledged, like, full-face mask. And, you know, had the bad ears and all that, but it was all stitched up all over the face. She had long, dark hair. Beautiful lady. Never fully learned how to speak till she was an adult. Some of you might remember this. This one kicked fucking ass. I loved this one. I still love this one. Now, that version would have been cool. I don't care if it's mainstream. Then again, these little bastards who watch the TV show don't read the comic books, so they wouldn't know. And then they fucking change it to a black girl, who, again, Batwoman has never been black. But, of course, fuck you, you're right. But, again, you know, all Batwoman was, it didn't even last a season because it was low-cut garbage. That's what a lot of people called it. It was just politically correct bullshit. It was just virtue, SJ, virtue signaling SJW bullshit. Of course, there's a white dude who's homophobic and hates women, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, when it fits a woman. When they're talking about Batman's old suit. That's just... God, you people were so desperate. And, 
You know, Ruby Rose, I don't mind her as an actress. She's cool. I think she's a great actress, but she also played a character. I'll get into this some other time. This role, the role she played where it was like, it was a voice role. Why is she known for playing just female assholes who are just terrible to other people and get away with it? Why is she, because again, she's a great actress. I'm not taking anything away from her. I'm pretty sure she's a nice person, but she always seems to be stuck playing assholes. Who pretty much are just horrible, god-awful fucking people and get away with it. And I never know why. It's ridiculous. But again, the whole, like, you know, the Batwoman thing and all that. Yeah. And then you got, I, I know I'm going to get called racist for this. I don't care. Then you got Black Lightning. Black Lightning is a good show for what it is. All the forced Black Lives Matter political mes messages. Shit's got to stop. You're better than this Black Lightning. You're a good character. The guy playing you is a good actor. People in the show are great actors. But the Black Lives Matter shit has got to stop. It's got to fucking stop, okay? This is ridiculous. Not all of you are a victim. Not all of you are a slave. Not all of you are oppressed. Stop saying this shit. You can't... You're not suffering because someone who has the same skin color you is suffering. All this is... Like I said, the show had, has a lot of potential. It can still change. But then they go and do shit like this. And speaking of, like, stupid shit, then, then there's that fucking, like, where they're all teamed up together and they go to stop that one guy from destroying all the fucking different Earths. Crisis on Infinite Earth things. This is what pisses me off. Why is White Canary up at the front now that Green Arrow's gone? Flash should be up there. You only force that dude to fucking... That's just fucking SJW feminist uh, politics shit. That's all it is. They were just That was a forced pandering fucking power moment. That's all it was. Flash should have been up there because he has established himself far before, far more than any other S, uh, CW character ever did. He, besides the Green Arrow. He was the only one who really matched up to fucking... You know what I'm saying? He was the only one who fucking... He was the first one to fucking establish himself as a true hero. Motherfucker, he was one of the very first fucking, even if it was the Jake Eric version originally, he was one of the very first fucking Justice Society of America characters. Not from the Arrowverse, from the actual DC comics, but nope, fuck you, feminism. It's ridiculous, so much potential is lost here. They could have done so much better. But again, had to throw it at the door to appease stupid children. CW, there is hope for you. There could be hope for you. Do you want to use that? No. Do you want to keep pandering and making stupid kids happy and basically keep failing? But, of course, the critics are paying people off to like it. Because you know that's what they're doing. Very, f Not as many people like it as that you think they do. Very few people like it. Most people only watch The Flash anyway. Most of you, like I said, most of them, I'm pretty sure, like I said, they're being fucking paid off. You know they're being fucking paid off. It's like any other shitty movie or TV show, why it keeps lasting. It's because they pay people off to make it look good. It's what it is. You know it's exactly what it is. Disney doesn't. You know Disney doesn't. That wasn't until, like, Bob Iger took over. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. So yeah, bottom line is, because I'm out of time here anyway, I think I'm going over the recording time I was supposed to, fuck the CW, fuck Greg Berlanti, fuck the idiots that ruined it and keep on ruining DC Comics besides the guys who run it now. The Arrowverse is garbage. It's not as good as you think. If you're going to blindly defend the comment section, don't, because I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to read your fucking comments, and if I do, it's probably just to annoy the fuck out of you with the response I'm going to throw at you. It's fucking ridiculous, okay? So yeah, the CW sucks, and you know it. Alright guys, um, I'm BC World 100 Heroes, also known as BC World, also known as BC Hero 100, also known as Nathan, but you call me what you wrote because you know I'll do it anyway, go ahead and call me an asshole, don't care, I know I, I know I am, and yeah, CW sucks, you all know it, alright, yeah guys, I will see you all soon, and I'll see you whenever I'm next, alright guys, and there's a little message here at the end of the video for certain people, not just the C, not necessarily for the CW fans, but yeah, hope you like it, don't get offended, because I, I honestly don't care, no one does. Alright, peace out everybody, take good care of yourselves, and I will catch you all later, yeah, I'll catch you later guys, take, yourselves, take care of yourselves, stay safe, hope you like the video, like and subscribe if you want to, if you don't have to, it's your choice, but yeah guys, I will see you all next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I will catch you all later. Like I said at the beginning, the footage in the video of Tomb Raider does not belong to me, but I am in allowance to use it like everybody else's as long as they acknowledge that it's their gameplay. Not the person using it, but the person who recorded it. No copyright gameplay is the owner of that footage, but they are allowing people to use it as long as they acknowledge that it is their footage. So I'm using this out of fair use. Don't be hitting me with any fucking copyright strikes, especially when you don't own it. I'm acknowledging that it's theirs, so there ain't nothing any of you motherfuckers can do about it. Just get that out there. Peace.
If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to. I'm not trying to plug anything. Do whatever you want because I know you'll do it anyway. But go ahead if you like, though. Regardless, I'm appreciative of the fact that you even watched this video. Thanks, guys. I'll get you, bitch!